God spends a lot of time in the Bible telling us who we are. It's almost as if he knew that we would doubt who that was from time to time. It's as if he saw it coming, that we'd spend our whole lives searching for what our identity, what our real name was, that there'd be many moments in our lives where we'd let different kinds of names define us. When we've looked in the mirror, compared ourselves to pictures, and heard the name ugly, when we've been left by loved ones, people we trusted once and heard the name unworthy. When we've been drowning in discouragement, living in a seemingly never-ending crisis and heard the name forgotten. When we've had our hopes up and our hearts open only to be brought down by closed doors and we've heard rejected. When we've looked for infinite affirming love through lesser physical fleshly versions. When we gave it away when it was stolen and we heard impure, we heard garbage, when we go to other vices to ease our pain and we hear addict, we hear forever broken, when we feel like we're living in the shadow of someone else's calling and we hear second place, when our pain cripples us to a point where we don't even know how to let others in and we hear lonely, when our past seems too gross for others to forgive it's overwhelming. These voices we're constantly hearing. It's suffocating. This air of constant critique and comparing. And it's sort of amazing. The people whose voices I've allowed to name me. The power I've given to my past, to my mirror, and to my surroundings. And enabled them to identify me. The amount of years I've to whatever others say over me. But God says something else about me. It's like he knew there would be other voices. So he wrote his voice down in a timeless book of truth that would remind us over and over again in the moments when lies would block his truths and somehow make us forget. I'm going back to the source, not the people I've allowed literal, tangible words that he has written down for me. And there's some other names he's given to me. John 15, 15, he calls me friend. 1 Thessalonians 1, 4, he calls me chosen. Ephesians 2, 10, he calls me his workmanship. He calls me his art. He calls me
When you stop answering to your old names, they stop having power over you. The name that my father, eternity father, the world creator has called me are the only names that I answer to when I hear a friend of God. That's my name. God workmanship, that's my name. Chosen, that's my name. Love, one and created with the purpose, that's my name. God temple, that's my name. God messenger, that's my name. Free, that's my name. Child of God, you must be looking for me. Greatly loved, you must be calling for me. Brand new, that is my name. That is the name that I respond to. The enemy has no When you hear these words that his word, that the word has proclaimed, what do you know is the name God is calling you? Maybe it's not the name you grew up with. Maybe it's not the name.